that you're looking at, relate to their stories. Does that make sense to you? Can you connect to that in your life? That's why theatre matters. That's why we've got to make sure theatre is seen by children. That's why it matters, because it changes people's lives. It just does. Today, um, the children were much more tuned in because they had had a drama workshop in the past. As we, they were able to hold on to a lot of the skills they had developed. The theatre in the English in my school, at the English department, was much much more about sitting in class reading bits of Shakespeare or something that nobody was really that excited about. And and the only the, the more the only the, the easiest way to make it more exciting would be just to have cleared the desk to one side and get up and do it. Just that alone would make it infinitely more interesting. Because sitting reading it is, is, is a, an exercise in reading the words on the page, but trying to make them alive, trying to make those words into things that people are saying to one another is, is what theatre is all about. And, and um, if we'd done more of that, I think that would have been more exciting. I think I've summarised it in the past as uh, it gives them a feeling of being able to walk tall. Um, by that I mean that they're... Um, They've got a, a, a greater confidence in them, themselves and their own abilities. Um, and I'm not just talking about those that have actually had to walk the stage. Um, the others uh, who were in other roles and in the visit obviously gained a great experience. really glad I did it. Very fond yeah. of yeah. It's really fun, really good. And for me it's like built up my confidence and I have more belief in myself that I can do it. And I mean, that will last, and I'm glad for doing it. So. It was brilliant. I thought it was amazing. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. And, and probably, again, uh, in terms of this time of the year and burdens the notion of to see ourselves as others see us, that maybe invites that uh, type of reflection. And I would argue that can only be good for a young person as, as they grow and develop into young adults. Um, it's probably a, a, a quality that many of us probably haven't really honed or taken forward as maybe, as, as maybe we, we, we should have. like citizenship and ethos and global citizenship, these are things that have become more and more and more important in Scotland, in Scottish politics, in international politics, in family politics. So it's a, a really, really robust, a really um, meaty issue to be dealt with within a learning context. And for children to do that in a way that engages them and motivates them and inspires them is by far the best way for them to retain the information and understand the issues. You know, theatre is, is theatre making. Ultimately, is a practical pursuit. It's a practical endeavour. It's something that you do. It's about acting. Is about doing. You can sit and talk and talk and talk about acting in a rehearsal room. You can sit and talk all day about the character and about the scene. But you don't really learn until you get up and do it. Um, and that's what that's what I think Tang is. It, what's at the heart of what we do? It's a, it's a, it's about participation. It's about taking part. It's about practically engaging with it. And so much of what we do is practical, uh, in the belief that we learn by doing. My life changed that first day I walked in there. I stood on the stage and the director, Joan Knight, was in the, in the darkness. You couldn't see her and she was like, darling, 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 could you, darling, could you move to the left? And I, I didn't know which darling she was talking to. Am I a darling? It's, I didn't assume that I would be the darling, you know. 
when I was given my birth certificate and I knew that I was going to tag, I was over the moon because in my book I was going to the most important company in Scotland. Seven.